The upgraded Boeing F-18 Hornet will remain the US Navy's primary combat aircraft well into the 21st century. They received the first operational examples of the Super Hornet in 1999. Compared to earlier versions, it's about 25% larger. The airframe has been stretched and the radar cross-section reduced. A larger wing allows it to carry more weapons. And the Raytheon APG-73 radar has been upgraded. This is the same one fitted into later versions of the FA-18C and D. These also have more powerful engines and an enhanced defensive electronic countermeasure system. These changes mean that compared to earlier F-18s, the Super Hornet can fly further with heavier payloads and is more likely to survive the mission. The US Navy currently has a total requirement of at least 545 of them. Post-Desert Storm combat analysis showed the pilot's workload during combat was too high and that the two-seat version worked better. In light of this, the majority of the US Navy's Super Hornets will be the two-seat F-18F. The rest will be single-seat E models. US Navy fighter and attack squadrons are now being steadily re-equipped with Super Hornets. The first full-rate production aircraft was delivered in September 2001. In July 2002, on board the supercarrier Abraham Lincoln, these fighters were deployed for the first time. In 2003, they saw combat during Operation Iraqi Freedom. F-14 VF fighter squadrons are fast becoming multi-role VFA units. Soon, all US Navy supercarriers will only use them as their principal combat aircraft. In the meantime, Hornets will also undertake a range of other combat roles with new equipment. This will include reconnaissance pods and active electronically scanned radar. This superfighter is also being actively proposed for the defense suppression role 